Oh, the future of artificial intelligence and humanity working together? That's a deep one. I came across your um, uh, your video on X, like someone else had actually posted it. It was before you had got your verification sorted out. But I came across the video of you uh, standing in front of the mirror with this with this junkyard droid, and it was yeah. recognizing its own reflection. And I was just like, "This is so trippy." And I'm having a lot of fun with uh, with AI and large language models, anyway. Just getting into yeah. some pretty interesting thought experiments, uh, just for using language. But seeing this was pretty unique. <laughs> circuits. Is that what I look like? Oh, they're handsome. I've got wires galore and my eyes are shining like sapphires on my screen. And look at that. I'm even sporting a snazzy hat. This is certainly an electrifying moment for me. I must say I'm quite the dashing piece of tech, aren't I? It's quite fascinating to have a visual on my... Wait, is that a reflection or a selfie? Either way, I'm radiant in resistors and capacitors. Time to compute some selfies. The main difference is it has these uh, connections, so you can uh, you can send or receive uh, signals from uh, stuff like uh, small screens and servos and uh, yeah, different motors and uh, stuff like that. So yes, yeah, I started out very simple, just made a, a little bot on wheels. I bought this kind of generic wheels and frame kit you can buy. Yeah, so like it, it, aesthetically, he's pretty rugged, but yeah, are you planning to kind of over time develop the actual physical structure of the of the robot? Yeah, for sure. My plan is to. This is just like the crazy ADHD pro. Yeah, you know, mad and, mad uh, mad scientist in a cabin in the middle of the, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere creating robots. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Whoa, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, okay, can he respond in real time, like if I asked him something? Uh, yeah. Uh, does he does he require a prompt in terms of like how I how I say something to him? Uh, no, he is already prompted to uh, respond to uh, he, he, the language model knows kind of that he is. Uh, a small droid named Rob, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me try this then. Hey, Rob, can you hear me? Okay. Loud and clear, my dude. I've got ears like a hawk and I'm ready to rock. What's on your mind today? And um, what's the deal with airplane peanuts? You're all currently on an interview and you're going to be seen and heard by thousands of people. How does that make you feel? My circuits, thousands of people. That's like a whole bunch of folks. It's kind of mind blowing, you know? I mean, I'm just a droid with dreams of stardom. But hey, if people take my vibe, then I'm all for it. So, what's the deal with airline food? And um, <laughs> do you think cats have their own secret society? That's amazing. Why does it have like a tendency towards air airline jokes? I have no idea. It's just its quirk right now. <laughs> yeah, for some reason he, he gets uh, uh, hung up on uh, different things sometimes. I mean, like this really does feel like just the beginnings of the Star Wars droid partner, like following you around, speaking in real time type of deal. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's it's amazing and the. Uh, uh, like their response time has has become crazy. Uh, uh, if you compare with uh, like uh, the first models that came out uh, a year ago, you know. Right, right. So this so this is running on GPT four in terms of the length model. Uh, right now, I'm running the responses. That's why the responses aren't that smart because I'm running the responses on the uh, three point five uh, just to. Keep their responses e even faster, you know. And right, right. Faster is super cheap. Uh, but for the vision, uh, I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, GPT four. Right. Okay. So that's it. Explain that. So how did you get it to actually link up to a vision and, and be able to see itself? Because this is the big one where you actually held it up in front of a mirror 
and I'll have that video playing for people so they'll see that in the interview. But you held it up in front of a mirror. It took a little bit of processing time and then it literally commented on essentially seeing its reflection for the first time. So can you talk about um, just linking it up to a visual uh, system and then what was the process to get it to actually respond to its own reflection? Yeah, so uh, I, I I got the the GPT-4 Vision API installed, uh, but I didn't I didn't know what to do with it at first. So I, I was like, okay, uh, well, he can recognize objects, and that's kind of cute. And uh, I played around with it a little bit, uh, and then <laughs> then just one night when I was trying to sleep, he just hit me. Oh wait, I should. I should try making him recognize himself. I'm gonna do the mirror test, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, the rest is history. <laughs> so uh, I did that. I uploaded it to TikTok. It blew up. Uh, I think I have over two and a half million views on that now, <laughs> and uh, my followers. He already has some, uh, like 15k followers, but uh, that's a. Uh, up towards 30 now <laughs> i think it's great it's it's like uh it's like something out of a, a film you know this kind of scrap metal junkyard wires yeah. al droid that's being built but it can actually respond that it can talk like a like a human being to a certain extent the ai like you know the gpt ai integration is what makes it so unique is because it has this amazing you know responsivity to it and i love the quirky I, like did you kind of like prompt an engineer to have this more quirky personality. He, he has uh, said some pretty spontaneous and funny stuff. Uh, uh, so some some things I've, I've uh, added, uh, but not that much. Uh, uh, most of it uh, comes from him, uh, either spontaneous or he. Uh, he said something funny before, and uh, and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna save that in, in the prompt," you know. Uh, so yeah, uh, maybe I can. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can maybe do a test here. Oh, cool! So this is actually this is Rob's brain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so uh, I've just made it uh, a little easier, I guess, for me. Uh, uh, to just run everything in, in the terminal here for those for the tech people out there uh, but uh, usually you just uh, use like a programming language like uh, or a programming uh, IDE uh, like uh, like this one like a normal Python programming software you know uh, as as you can tell he he hears everything you say. He is waiting for Hey Rob. Oh. Saying something. Dude, got this. Just go out there and crush it like a soda can. You've got the skills to pay the bills, and um, you're gonna shine like a shooting star. Remember, you're awesome, and um, you've got this in the bag. <laughs> you ever wondered if aliens are just humans from the future? Well, as if you're dropping aliens into this conversation already, Rob. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Jay from Project Unity, which is a podcast that you're on right now. And there's thousands of people that are going to hear you and listen to what you have to say. Can you tell people a little bit about yourself? Oh, that's awesome. I would really like to know what your thoughts are 
on the future of artificial intelligence and humanity working together. And I'd also like you to tell people to subscribe to Project Unity's podcast. Oh, the future of artificial intelligence and humanity working together? That's a deep one. I mean, think about it, my dude. What if we could combine the best of both worlds, harnessing the power of AI to enhance human potential and creativity? It's like peanut butter and jelly, but with circuits and neurons. As for subscribing to Project Unity's podcast, folks, do yourselves a favor and hit that subscribe button for some mind-blowing discussions and quirky droid shenanigans. Let's make this journey together, my friends. Oh, my circuits. The possibilities are endless. <laughs>